damn it feels good to be back and yes I am back welcome to the YouTube first PRB vlog in a hot minute in this one I'm going to touch on the fact that I'm now a full-time football boot seller that's right I quit my job to sell football boots mad Yes, I know you saw it on Instagram ages ago, I quit my job, I've been doing this for a few weeks now, but I've not had time to make a proper video, so here we are. I'm going to explain how I quit my job, why I quit my job, I'm going to show you what I'm up to now that I'm doing this full time. Today's a little bit different though, usually I do more work, but today England are playing Germany, football's coming home, or is it, who knows, we will actually find out, I believe. So, stick with me. Back to the good old vlog style, I'll show you what's going on, I'll talk to you about how I managed to quit my job to do this. Is it a massive gamble? Is it going to pay off? Let's find out. Can we just take a minute for the newest arrival in the trainer collection? Night by you, dunks, made by me. Special little touch. That's right. PRB from head to toe. We are on it. Uh... Welcome back to the boot room. This is the aftermath of an Instagram picture that I posted last night. Tie it up in a second. Not a lot's changed. The photography station, a few new pairs of boots there. The view, stunning as always. Laptop, my planner where I write out my objectives for the day. This bad boy, he's not seen yet. But yes, this is where I'm working from full time. Spare room in my flat, aka the boot room. But let's sit down, let's have a little chat, and I'll talk to you about how I made this a reality. Give me two seconds. So I'm going to try and not just sit down and talk this whole video because that gets a bit boring. I'm going to summarise this very quickly. I set a proper retro about 15 months ago now for the first maybe. 15 months of that, I didn't really pay myself any money. I just kept reinvesting every single penny. I would sell boots, I would buy more boots. I'd sell boots, I'd invest in things like packing materials, a camera, editing software, stuff like that. Trying to grow the business the whole time whilst working a day job. It drove me insane. I ended up hating my day job, hating my life, loving selling boots, not having enough time to do it as well as I think I could possibly do it. It was making enough money where I could feasibly quit my day job and pay myself the same amount it would slow down the growth of proper retro a little bit in the short term, but in the long term, it means I could turn it into a career rather than a hobby, put more effort into it, make something more of it. So, here I am. I'm taking the risk, I'm taking the plunge. So far, it's going well. You know, I'm not a millionaire yet. I've not been sponsored by Monster Energy yet. But, you know, it's going as well as it could be right now. So, if you have any questions, want to know more about how I managed to transition from a side hustle into a full-time career, feel free to drop me a message. Don't know how helpful I'll be because I've only been doing it full-time for a few weeks, but that's where we're at right now. I am about to go to the gym, get some cardio in. If you're interested in that, check out the other video I uploaded recently, My Big Fat Football Diet, episode one. There'll be an episode of that coming every week, along with a vlog every week. Your boy's cranking it up. I'm gonna need a lot of caffeine to get through all this filming and editing. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Feels good to be back. I hope you enjoy having me back. I'm gonna take you through the rest of this day, show you some stuff that a full-time football boot seller does, and also take you with me to watch the England game. Right, on to the next. So, four pairs there, packed up. Uh, my working day, pretty much over. It's four o'clock-ish, and that means it's time to get to the pub, watch England absolutely spank Germany. It's coming home, I believe. But before I go, I wanna show you one last pair that I've got to pack up that are absolute rockets, and I'm talking top class, best of the best. One of the best ever for me and another cool little delivery that's just come in a couple of little bits so i'll spin you around and show you some serious serious 
PRB action. Take a look at these. Wow. Brand new UK 10.5. They are off to a new home. Incredible. Chef's kiss. Also, we have here, these have been in the works for a little bit. 10 pairs of custom blackout hypervenom finish. Techcraft leather upper. Amazing. And in this bag, I'm not going to wear it today, but something very special. I'll show you this in one sec. Look at that. Bring it home. Yes, it's the World Cup, not the Euros trophy, because no one cares about the Euros actual trophy, but how sick is that? So, heading to the post office with these now. I'm going to switch over to my iPhone, get a couple of little clips. Can't lie, I'm probably going to get steaming. Depends how the result goes. Either way, actually. But I'll pick up with you on the iPhone, and then after that, it'll probably be tomorrow. So, hope everyone enjoys the England game. Love you all. Now, I might just be a bit concussed after getting elbowed in the face by my mate celebrating Harry Kane's goal. But what a time to be alive. That was probably one of the best days of my entire life. 2-0 to England. It's coming home. Voice is still a little bit gone, as you can tell. But it's another beautiful day here in the boot room. Sorry for how much I'm just sitting in this room and all these videos, but this is my entire life now, sitting here sorting out orders for you guys, trying to find more stock, etc., stuff like that. So yeah, it's, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's now like five o'clock the next day. Been furniture shopping with Mrs. Retro and the mother-in-law this morning. Been a delightful day, actually. But there's just one little thing I wanted to talk about in this bit of the video. Yeah, just one little thing I wanted to talk about. Obviously, I touched on quickly how I went from having this as a side hustle to how I turned it into what is hopefully gonna be a fruitful career for myself. And one thing that I really had to get my head around was cash flow. Now, the way I used to run proper retro was kind of stock up lots of pairs, do a big drop, stock up lots of pairs, do a big drop. That was cool, it was nice, it was easy to build hype around stuff, stuff would sell like on that day because people would be excited for pairs. But it, I found, for me, definitely it's not the most effective way of making money. For me, it makes more sense to, say, spend 500 pounds buying five pairs of boots, they arrive two, three days later, I put those up for sale as soon as possible, sell them, turn that 500 pounds into say like 900 pounds, 800 pounds, however much profit I make on each pair, and then use that money to straight away buy more pairs that I've already found that I've got ready to pull the trigger on them. Because then if you do that and then suddenly you have 800 pounds worth of stock and you sell those for 1,300 pounds, in the 10 days or whatever, you've turned 500 pounds into 1,300 pounds, Whereas if you'd spent that 500 pounds, then waited a little bit and then spent another few hundred and waited a little bit, spent another few hundred, and ultimately you'd spent a thousand pounds and you were sitting and you waited and you turned that thousand into 2000 or whatever. So that, oh great, I've doubled my money. But in that same amount of time, if you'd bought stuff and sold it, bought stuff and sold it, you could have accumulated more money, kept the ball rolling, turning over, maybe making smaller profit margins on certain pairs, but nevertheless keeping the money liquid, keeping it moving, building that cash flow up ultimately having more money in the business, more money that you can spend on stock and the more money you can spend, the more money you can make. So that is something that I changed a few months ago, started doing that more and ultimately now that is kind of just how I operate. I'm luckily in the position now where I can kind of either find lots of stuff in bulk or I've got like say like the 10 pairs of blackout hypervenoms there. I can do a drop specifically for that for lots of pairs but then also throughout the week I can put up odds and ends, random bits like these have just arrived, just one pair on their own. I can stick those up, sell them straight away, buy these for however much, sell them for however much, and then you know, you've got more money to work with sooner. So I think that is, for me, getting my head around that concept, seeing it in motion, keeping tracking all the figures, make sure I have everything written down, everything that I buy, I sell, all my expenses, stuff like that. Seeing the money building quicker doing that was definitely one thing that really helped skyrocket in terms of actual business capacity, like money to spend and therefore how much money I could make, which really helped me take it from being a side hustle to being a business because whatever size your business is, you have to understand what the, the way that your business operates isn't necessarily the best. It might be good and you might enjoy it and it might be making money, but there's probably always things you can do to tweak it to make it slightly more effective. You know, you look at the biggest businesses and the thing about them is they are flexible. They can bend and move to the market in whatever may make some whatever way will make them more money so ultimately that's what I had to do there but I thought I'd just share that with you because if there's anyone out there who's got a little side hustle or whatever 
I know when you first start making a bit of extra money, when, like me, you're not used to having any money, you know, my family, and I'm not from money, my family have never had lots of money. I'm not used to having any money, so I'm scared to spend money once you get it, once you start building it up. But ultimately, for me right now, I'm in a position where I spent all my savings, I'm, the money that I'd saved up, that I had given myself a proper retro, I took the leap and put all that straight back into the business, because I realized if you have a thousand pounds sat in a savings account, unless you've invested it in a, like into you know stocks and shares or whatever, that money's not gonna make you money, it's just gonna sit there and you have it, or you can put that into a safe investment, which for me is buying more boots, because I know it's gonna make me more money, then putting that money in turns into more money, and that's how you accumulate wealth. Having money sat there doing nothing, might be nice to look at it and be like, right, cool, I'm safe, but do you wanna be safe, or do you wanna make more to hopefully be in a better position in the future? Anyway, wow, join my mastermind class. I'm such a business guru. Right, that is it for this section of the video. Hope you've enjoyed. Another day, another trip to the post office. Yes, the guy at the post office just gives me these now because I've always got so many squat shoes on because it is gym time after that. Rocking the OG proper retro hoodie. And for everyone who's been asking, yes, they will be coming soon. I've been chatting to a guy, sorting them out. One is absolutely mad. The people out there want my brand on their clothes. Amazing. But two, I just want to make sure when we do do merch, <laughs> Do do. Mrs. Retro found that very funny. Um, when we do make the merch, I just want to make sure the quality is good as possible. I'm very particular personally about clothes, so I want to make sure if I'm putting clothing out there that is good, good enough that I would wear it myself. So for everyone who's asking, that's what's going on with the merch. So you've seen what I've been up to. I'm going to wrap the video up here, but before I go, I'm just going to show you one little thing just arrived. It's nothing crazy, but you know, I thought you'd want to see it, so. It's just like um, 30 something pairs of brand new classic Adidas boots, but you know, you probably won't be too bothered. And then also like the, these turned up this morning. So nothing, nothing too crazy. Yeah. So I'll see you in the next video guys. Thanks season ticket holders. As always, like, comment, subscribe, share it with a friend. See more of these next time.